Well, there's a national conversation going on about gun rights, and joining us today, Keith Morgan with the West Virginia Citizens Defense League. Keith, you live here in Charleston, and thanks so much for uh, being with us. Glad to be here. Well, Keith, uh, America is really just in the beginning stages of, of a long overdue debate and conversation about the place of guns in our society. You're with the West Virginia Citizens Defense League. Tell me what it is you all stand for. What are you all trying to get done? Well, we support uh, firearms ownership uh, for and carrying of firearms for self-defense, lawful shoot, lawful recreational shooting and hunting. Um, the I have to take issue with the immediate premise that we've started out with that it's a long overdue discussion. Um, the 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 discussion is as old as the country itself. Uh, the the framers uh, set everything up and settled that discussion pretty well uh, with the wording and language of the Second Amendment. And just recently in the Heller and McDonald cases, uh, the Supreme Court held that uh, it is an individual right. Uh, well, but to keep and bear arms. I, we, we'll, so, so we'll, it's, we'll, so we'll start the, out the with discussion the, is settled and no, it is, it is not settled, and this country has not had a rational debate because people start like, oh, well, we got to have I'm, guns. I'm, I'm glad you used the term rational. So, but but, but let, let's talk. You, you can't tell me that. AK-47s and some of these high-action military with big clips, that's, that's not what our founders had in mind. Well, wait a minute. Why would we... Let's, I'm going to stop you right there. All right. Okay, I want you to go and read Federalist Papers number 46 where Madison, a Federalist, a uh, proponent of a powerful central government, lays out the purpose for the Second Amendment. And his his intent was that the citizenry be equally armed as a uh, well, standing army. So, so, so should we be able to have nuclear bombs? Well, and you know, if you're going to talk about nuclear weapons and and ridiculous arguments like it's that, we can terminate any, the interview but, because that's the. But, but I thought you said rational. You said rational, right? Right. But you just said yeah, nuclear weapons and but, but your of, comment was that that the intent of the papers. Yeah. was that everybody be equal to the government. But, but the truth of yeah, the, the matter the, is... The, the modern you, infantry soldiers. But, but sure. that's not possible today. It's Why? not possible that we can compete with this giant military machine. And, and what's and interesting... I, I'm not advocating that we should try. Okay, but but let me let me talk about your argument. You're saying uh, AK-47s and assault rifles. First off, you're using a media coined misnomer called an assault rifle. An assault rifle is a fully automatic weapon, and those are extraordinarily difficult to keep in pri in private hands. But but nevertheless, have been used in some of these recent. Oh, killings. sure, 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 they have, and and those are tragic. But I'm going to so ask you. I'm going to ask you a question. Would you support getting rid of those to the uh, public? I, absolutely not. And 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 let me ask you a question. Do you support removing those from law enforcement? Now, the Canal County Sheriff's Department, West Virginia State Police are running around out here with AR-15s and 30-round magazines. I, do I, you think they should have? I do think they should have. You do? Okay, well, they face the same threats we do. So, well, so I, why do you think they should have them and we should not? Because I don't, I believe that our police and our military are trained to defend us and to protect this country. I don't think that I want every guy up and down the block going out thinking that he is, you know, Rambo and he's going out to save the country. Okay. I mean, I just don't think let's, that's, that's let's, the ra irrational part of this conversation. You are, you are making an unfair and uh, frankly offensive accusation that people who own uh, rifles with 30 round magazines think they're Rambo because I can take you just up the street here and we can go talk to some MDs. They're pretty sure that they are not Rambo. They're uh, citizens, they're uh, professionals, they're, they're doctors and lawyers, and yes, even people in the media who own these, own these firearms. But what's the purpose? What's the purpose? The purpose is self-defense. That's the same purpose for who? law enforcement. Who is it you're defending yourself from? Who is it the law enforcement defends themselves well, from? No, there is a criminal element in our society. But, but law, Do you disagree? Law enforcement has a responsibility to track down, capture, and in some cases defend 
the citizens don't have that. There, there is a misconception in society. Law enforcement, and the Supreme Court has held multiple times that law enforcement has no duty to defend you. Well, I, I, they, I think you're up on a technicality. Law enforcement does, in fact. They have no duty well, to but defend they, but, you. But the reality is. They, they have do. no duty to protect you. The, the reality is they do. No, no yeah. the reality is they do not. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know where I, you're yeah. getting your information. Well, I'm getting, Mine comes I'm from getting the Supreme from real Court. life experience. I Mine do. comes from the Supreme Court of the United States, thus the law of the you land. You might notice on the police cars it says to protect, you know, to defend and protect. Well, I mean, because, well, let me tell you, what it says on the side of the police car is at odds with what the Supreme Court of the United but, States. But, they have no duty to protect but, you. But, and anybody out there who believes they do, you better think again. So, so. I mean, I want to get back to this. I don't understand what the need is for anybody, a pub, for a citizen to have an AK-47, a grenade launcher, uh, all of that kind of stuff. Why, why do you need why that? Why are you talking about grenade launchers? Because that's a weapon. That's a gun. A well, shoot, wait wait a minute. The projectile it shoots is a grenade. It's, oh, no, sure, it's well, a sure, big sure. bullet. But, but I, want to, I want to understand why you're talking about grenade launchers. Did, did we have some, some attacks by grenade launchers I, in the I, United no, States I, while I wasn't looking? I'm talking about that when this Constitution... You're bringing up red herrings for, for, the, interest in, in, for the purpose of in, eliciting an emotional response. And it's, it's a little weak in my opinion. Well, I thought we were going to have a rational discussion. Well, here. rational discussion is about we're dealing with the same threats. We face the same bur burglars, the same criminals, the same murderers that law enforcement do. And you would have us uh, hamstrung by uh, limited capacity magazines. And the reality is you really want to cause a problem in this state you, you get, or in this country. You go ahead and you outlaw assault weapons because the United States can't keep people human beings from crossing our southern border. Now when you go and you create a market for machine guns you can bet they're going to flow. We're going to have problems we don't now because there will be fully automatic weapons in the streets. All right, Keith, if you could hang on for just a second, we need to take a quick break and we'll come right back right. with more on Decision Makers.